Hi everyone, Basil Chapman for this Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. market update on Monday the 21st of March. We're looking at the Dow having made a new recovery high from Friday after three days of closing at beautiful big green candles closing at highs. You would have expected some kind of consolidation. We should still get that. This kind of residual buying from the uh, the, the, the different sectors, the indexes that got reconfigured on Friday. So we're down 111 at 34,643. This is a leg C in the Chapman Way methodology. We should have a pullback to make a peak C sometime and then go to a leg D. That's where we get a test of strength. We're looking at the S&P. The same thing has happened there. New recovery high. And the S&P at this particular point is trading um, up four at 4,467, also made a new recovery high. So this is leg C, and we do expect that it goes to a leg D. It's that weekly chart. By the end of the week, we want to see on Friday, where is this closing with all the turmoil that's going on? This is very good action so far. QQQ also made a recovery high in leg A. It's down $1.67 at 349. It needs to very quickly get to the 53 level so it can try for the 200 period moving average of 357. Must hold, I, I would say, must hold 342 in the next two days. IWM holding pretty well considering <clears throat> it's a small caps and yeah, they've been kind of stuck for a while, but they're stuck in a good way. They're not breaking down, but they're not yet breaking out. So we watched this at 206.67. Needs to get to the 209s quite quickly. We're looking at the gold. Gold had a nice rally after being weak. It's up five, actually up six at 1935, but still stuck under the nine period moving average. Digesting huge gains, and that kind of goes for. Um, I didn't do Bitcoin at all during my show. I meant to. Bitcoin is just stuck in a range. It's down a thousand at 41,070. The dollar is holding quite well, but not going anywhere, but holding pretty well at 98.31. Crude oil is the one that's showing really good strength. Look at this, up another five dollars at 108.38. <clears throat> it has been digesting gains, but it's still a place that says, uh, we're going to need more oil. There's a problem here, and that's why it's running like this. And if you look at the TLT, which is bonds, bonds is having a move down uh, 2.26 at this point at 131. It just says race, and I showed this earlier on in the chart, my, my, my triple chart, yield chart, 30, 10, and 5 years. The 5 and 10 are, are almost even. I mean, this is really talking about flattening of the curve. Uh, have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pesavento. Great program coming up. Larry, then Think or Swim, then Steve, Dave, and Tom. Have a great day. Check out both people on my debut newsletter. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.